It is an absolutely beautiful afternoon to be out here. I've got some things to share with you guys. Why don't you say we do a little exploring? Life is full of moments, just like this one, where we find ourselves at crossroads. These points in our lives when important decisions must be made to choose the best path forward. Oftentimes we get it wrong, and know I have time and time again. But sometimes we get it right. I think win or lose, succeed or fail, it's all part of the adventure. So you may recognize this spot. Uh, it was just up here maybe a month, two months ago for a camping trip. And what I loved about it is it was so close to home. And I want to explore more areas like this. There's just so much um, within reach. Normally, I love driving five, six hours up to the Eastern Sierra because it's my favorite place on Earth. But getting up there and doing the drive sometimes is pretty tough. And so I've been challenging myself to find more and more places close by uh, that might surprise me like this one. So I'm out here for a reason today. I want to give you guys a couple upda update videos. In a minute, I'm going to be filming a walk around video of the Tacoma because I think for the first time I feel like it's done. And so... I definitely want to kind of like finalize the build progress that we've done on this truck for the past couple of years in this video, um, or at least the video that I'm about to film while I'm up here. I'm going to do an interior modification video because I've been working on the, the interior and all the gear and gadgets in there for quite some time. And to be honest, you, you've, these two videos that I'm talking about right now will probably be out before this one. But with the conclusion of the Tacoma build, and if I'm being honest, there will still be stuff that I change from time to time. But for the most part, you know, this channel has documented my adventures and the build progress. And now it's time to see what's next. Something I wanted to talk to you guys about today is over the past 12 years, I have been almost ordering my entire life around what I do out here. Um, every career change that I've made has been focused around how can I spend more time doing stuff like this, um, vehicle purchases, gear, stuff like that. Um, this really has been a passion of mine and it drives me. And so in this video, I wanna talk about what is to come for the channel. I got some really exciting things I wanna talk about, but I also wanna talk about the past and as we conclude 2023 and look forward to 2024. I definitely have got some things that have been on my mind that I would like to share with you guys. But first, I've got some stuff to do over here.
know guys, this could be a new winter favorite on a cold night of camping. I just love camping this time of year. Fall weather hits, just like this brisker feeling to the air. I kind of like the colder nights. You know, sometimes in winter it gets really cold, so it's, it is a bit more brutal, but fall is just, it's perfect. That was probably the best cold weather dinner that I've had <laughs> camping, the easiest to put together. Sourdough bread bowl, chicken noodle soup from the grocery store, and uh, just heating it up in that electric kettle uh, with the Blue Eddy. <sighs> Easy peasy, man. And as far as fires go, I, I don't know if I'll ever go back to regular campfires. This is just so easy. And this thing actually puts out some really good heat. I mean, it is a chilly night and I am very warm right now. So look, I have some announcements. Um, First off, I, I want to tell you guys a quick story. Um, and it's kind of how I fell into this lifestyle of constantly going on these camping trips. And like literally, you guys, I'm not kidding you. I come back from these trips exhausted. I get a good night's sleep. And the very day I get it a good night's sleep, I'm thinking about the next trip. I just, I live for this. I do. Um, so I want to tell you a story about how this kind of all happened. Um, about 12, 13, probably 13 years ago now, I was going through a rough patch. I had no drive, I had no passion. I didn't want to, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my future. Anytime somebody asked me, what do I want to be when I grow up? What do I want to be professionally? I was just a young guy. I'm down in the dumps and some friends of mine, they start talking about going on a camping trip together. And me and my buddy Josh, who you guys have probably seen on some of our videos, you know, we, we used to always talk about doing it, we just never did. So at that point in my life, let's go on a camping trip. First trip we went on was to Yosemite National Park. Good choice, really good choice. Um, I had just purchased a camera like three months before that. And so me and my buddy, we took our cameras, we go on this camping trip with um, some of our other friends and I'm taking these shots. I'm just blown away by this place. I had been to Yosemite as a kid, but you, I don't remember it, you know? Um, and this place was just gorgeous, breathtaking. Every day we're checking out something new and I'm getting these pictures, they're blowing my mind and something's starting to grow right then and there, I'll tell you. But before the trip, some of the people in the group had applied for a permit to go climb Half Dome. I was intimidated by that and I was like, all right, you guys can go do it. I'm, you know, I'm good type of attitude. Uh, but nobody got the permit leading up to the trip. So when we're there, we're halfway through the trip and two of the people get emails. The next day, we had won the lottery to go climb Half Dome. And so sure enough, everybody's like, all right, 3 a.m. tomorrow morning, we're getting up, we're doing this hike. And I was like, all right, I guess we're doing this hike. Now the lottery was for like six people. Um, but there was like eight or ten of us something like that in the group and so i was like all right well we'll all go up and then i'll all hang back once we get to the point where you need the permit because i'm going into this thinking like well i didn't want to do this anyways so we go we do this hike we get up at three o'clock in the morning we hit the trail by like five and everybody feels terrible nobody slept well because you know you're anxious the night before then you get up at three o'clock in the morning um, you don't eat breakfast, really. We had some granola bars on the trail. Uh, we didn't have coffee. Um, I'm not a morning person generally, and so I just felt terrible. But we're going up the first par uh, portion of this hike, and there's these uh, two waterfalls that you hike past. Vernal Falls, Nevada Falls. And you're going up the section called the Mist Trail. And it is one of the most beautiful hikes that you can ever do in your life. And so even though we're feeling like garbage, you know, we're doing this completely stunning hike. Then the sun starts to come up. It hits us. We start, you know, getting our blood going. We're starting to feel better. 
and we get up past the second waterfall and all of a sudden you're in like i think it's called little yosemite valley and things level out for a while and you just you kind of get a break from all the incline the sun's hitting you you're warming up you're feeling great the hot you're kind of getting that second wind right we take a break for lunch over by the river and at this point in my life i had not done anything like this ever but halfway through the day i am i am stoked on this and so we get going and at this point you know there is a steady incline on the hike but it's just a matter of one foot in front of the other so we just keep on going we get up to the sub dome and that's about where you need to show your your permit to be able to go hike these cables now they put if you've never heard of this before if you've never done the hike they have these big cables bolted into the side of this granite mountain called half dome in yosemite national park and it is just this giant granite dome half half a gram granite dome um and they bolt these cables into the into the side of it so that you can hike up it if you didn't have those cables you'd have to have actual rock climbing skills to be able to do this so anyways we get up there and some of the people in the group weren't feeling well and there was a spot for me so i said okay i guess i will i will do this i went into the day like thinking like man what am i in for to actually getting out there and experiencing it and being really really stoked on it um so we do the cables and to be honest with you for the first time i doing something like this i was just as terrified as my dad's stories made it seem to be i was my knees were weak and I was my knees were shaking, but I was like, this is epic. What am I doing? I'm going to die. But like, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Uh, so we climb up to the top and you get up there and the views are just unmatched. It is just incredible what you can see from up there. And the feeling of, ac of accomplish uh, accomplishment that you get doing something like that for the first time was just incredible. Anyways, we stayed up there for a good long while, and then we started to head down. And on our way down, um, before we got to like the sub dome, you're like just on our way down the cables, um, there was a hiker that was having maybe heart palpitations or something like that, but they called in like medical evacu evacuation for him. And this medevac team comes in a, on a helicopter, boop, lands right on top of Half Dome. They get out, they help the guy, Thankfully, I can report he was okay, but they load him up the helicopter, take off, and then just dive down into the valley uh, from the top of Half Dome. And being there, I have a video. If I can find the video, I'll include it in this video. But just seeing that and witnessing that just added to like this incredibly epic day and epic memory uh, and moment in my life. And something just really, really came alive in me i got my first like epic videos from that trip with the helicopter diving out and i got some amazing pictures and there was just this thing kind of coming together for me on this trip i want to say like i feel like i never truly experienced life before that moment like i never truly experienced what it truly felt like to be alive and following that trip me and my friends <laughs> got bit by the bug we did like all the local mountains. We did the summit of San Jacinto, Mount Baldy, San Antonio, just the, the ones right in our area. Um, applied for a permit to do Whitney, ended up getting a knee injury and things like that kind of slowed down. But the moral of the story here is just like something changed in me that day. And ever since it's been, when's the next trip? When's the next adventure? Um, and the photography and the filmmaking has been part of that the entire time. I love doing this and every single time I make some kind of career move or something like that, it's always centered around doing this more. Um, and that's not a way to become a rich person, but I don't know, man, it's a heck of a way to live. Um, and so what I came out here to tell you guys is a couple things. I've got a couple announcements and I hope that you've bared with me this long through all my rambling. I make a small income from this YouTube channel and it is nothing to brag about. Um, I'd probably be better doing any other job. Um, what I get paid is per hour is probably far below minimum wage. But I see the potential of it over time growing enough to be something that I can 
partially support our family with. And so with all that being said, I've got to a crossroads in my life where I don't have the time to do everything I need to do. Uh, between family life and work life and doing this, there's just not time for everything. And so something needs to give. And uh, after talking to my wife about it and some of the stresses that we've gone through this year, we've decided to sell part of the family business so I can spend more time working on this and spending time creating videos for you guys. Um, I will touch on something very briefly and I swear it's relevant. <laughs> There's a lot of rambling in this video, so I apologize. Um, but look, I was very, very much into photography and, and filmmaking for the past decade. And in 2020, I had to sell all of my photography gear and I kind of stopped doing it just because I had some photography equipment that um, I still use to make these videos on the YouTube channel. But I don't know, something inside me just kind of, I went through a little bit of a, a depression phase with everything that we lost during the pandemic financially. Um, I mean, some of you guys might not know this, but I essentially worked for free for our business for two years, uh, just keeping the doors open because of everything that was going on economically. Um, it was a really tough time period and I sold tons of stuff just to keep it alive. The only reason I could keep building the truck is because I was making these videos and there is a little bit of income from it. Like I said, not much. I've done this truck on a budget. Um, it may not seem like that all the time, but shoot me a DM, an email if you want to talk uh, how I've done this, and I will share what I've done with, uh, with the truck to be able to make this happen. Um, but just the little bit of income that I get from YouTube is what has finished uh, this build. And like I said, it is not enough to support my family right now, but at this point in my life, I have zero days, zero hours, zero minutes of the week allotted to work on YouTube. Every time I'm working on YouTube, it's like midnight to 3 a.m. Um, and it's that's brutal. It just creates a, a, t a terrible work-life balance. And so something's had, had to change. And so we are deciding to put our focus, um, some of our focus into YouTube. And so essentially, I'm looking at being 50% YouTube, 50% of my business, I will be keeping and continuing uh, to pursue that. So I've got to interrupt this video with a couple updates because it's been two months since I filmed that video and a lot's happened since then. The next announcement I was going to share with you guys was I'd be launching a solo series. And that was going to be kind of like the backbone of the channel going forward. Regular trips where I go off on my own and I can just do the best videos I possibly can without the distraction of kids. And I'm just able to be able to focus on what I'm doing. If I'm chasing this as a career, it makes a lot of sense to me. The problem is, is I didn't really think things through. I left out one of the most important aspects of my life, which is my family, my kids, my wife. Uh, when I was out on the second trip, cause I already started doing this. Um, when I was out on the second trip, I was out there and the silence was amazing you guys will see this in in the video when it comes out but the silence was just crazy and it had been such a long time since i've done just a solo trip like that i don't think i've done one since we've had kids um and so it's been at least five six years uh now since i've done a trip like that and i've gotten so used to the chaos and the noise that comes along with this stage of my life and I hated it. I just absolutely hated the silence. I missed my kids. Uh, you know, I'm used to my wife not coming, but at least having my kids there, you know, it just wasn't the same. And I kind of realized when I was out on this trip that it was probably a really, really bad decision at this stage in my life to commit to something like that. Now, I've already sold off part of the business, some smaller parts of the business that were some unhealthy parts of the business. And so things have already progressed in, in that area. And I already have a little bit more time. And there's still some areas of the business that I just want to get rid of because they're unhealthy and it's kind of a time suck, so to speak. But I think I've got to make some changes to the game plan and go back to the drawing board a little bit. Um, Listen, before I started out on this venture, 
I was super stressed, things were just chaotic, and I was in a bad spot, and I don't think I could really see clearly. The solo trip was really good for me because it gave me that peace and that quiet to be out in nature and really kind of think things through and come up with some different plans. And so realistically, I'm not going whole hog into YouTube and abandoning half of the business um, because I was able to come up with some better ideas while I was out there. Now, I still wanna do this. Um, and realistically, when I started doing this, I expected it to take about five to seven years for it to really kind of get to a place where it'd be sustainable enough to take some steps back. And so I'm not there yet. I'm about three years in to that five to seven year plan. Um, and just to be transparent with you guys, this is something I've been working towards for a long time. And even though over the last year with how busy life has gotten, I have not been able to put out half the videos that I plan to this year. Um, and so just to kind of take this all and put it into perspective, yes, this is something I absolutely still want to do, but going out on that solo trip was really good for me. I was able to get some perspective and slow things down a bit. And so is this st something that I'm still trying to do? Absolutely. Just not to the scale that I thought I was when I came out with this announcement video. So with all that being said, here's what you can expect on the channel going forward. Number one, everything I was gonna originally announce tonight is pretty much still in full effect, minus the solo series thing. Now look, I probably still will go on some solo trips and I'll probably still film them uh, from time to time. The one that I went on a couple weeks ago, about a month ago now, was, like I said, really great for me. And so there's times in our life where we just need that. And so I definitely can see that being a healthy thing from time to time. I could just see it being an unhealthy thing all the time. So we are going to probably still have a little bit of that here and there. We're definitely gonna be heavy in the adventure focus. Um, already have a few trips planned for 2024. Really excited about that. You're gonna be bringing the kids, You're gonna be going with friends, a lot of people that you're used to seeing on the channel. I'm not going to be stepping away from gear and vehicle builds. Um, in the March area, whenever the baby arrives, I'll probably be taking a brief hiatus so I can focus on our newborn and being there for my wife. Um, however, you know, there's gonna be a time where she's probably gonna want me and Brooklyn and Henry out of the house. And so we'll start going on trips again, I don't know, April, May, we'll see what happens. Um, and so definitely going to be heavy trip focused, I think through summer. Um, I definitely was really disappointed in how many summer trips uh, we got in this year. I wanna get out to the mountains more. And so definitely some summer trips. Um, and then look, late 2024, probably gonna be starting a whole new vehicle build on the channel. Now I'm looking around for what exactly that's going to be, but it's something that's gonna be good for a family of five. And so uh, as of right now, the plan is not to depart from the Tacoma, but definitely to find something that will fit that family of five a little bit better. We've already got a great roof, rooftop tent that I can put on whatever vehicle that ends up being. And so we'll talk about that later as it gets closer, but a whole new vehicle build will most likely, at least that's the goal for right now, be coming to the channel late 2024. Now look, moving forward in this direction is important to me. And over the years, I have had some of you guys ask how you can support the channel. I haven't come out with really any, you know, apparel or channel kind of gear, something like that yet. I may revisit that in the future, but what I am gonna do this year is launch a Patreon. Now I'm gonna do this just really simple. One tier, that's gonna get you guys GPS coordinates because I know people have been asking for that stuff for a long time now. And I usually am hesitant to give it out, but GPS coordinates of the campsites we stay at and all that kind of stuff, that's gonna get you the trip videos a week early. And then I think I'm probably gonna do a bonus video every single month, whether that is debriefing an adventure we went on or just providing some members only updates. That's something that I really want to bring to the Patreon. And so if you want to support me, like, look, I'm still going to be putting out all the free content on YouTube and that's going to be our bread and butter, bread and butter. But 
For those of you guys who are really invested in the channel and you would like some more content, or you just wanna support what we're doing, Patreon is gonna be the perfect resource for that. Now finally, I know I've kind of been blabbering quite a bit about photography and filmmaking over the past couple months and quite a bit throughout this video. Um, look, it's something that I've really gotten excited about again um, in the second half of this year and I have been thinking about, and actually I kind of already have, launched a second channel where I will cover just photography and filmmaking. Something you'll probably hear me say quite a bit over the next year is a set aside from great equipment that helps get you out there and get you back safe. I can't think of a better thing to add to your gear kit than a camera, a good camera. Um, I've been using one for years. I have several right now. And it's always been such a good thing to have, to be able to look back on those pictures and those videos over the years. And so for those of you guys who are specifically into doing what we do, camping, the overland thing, and you want to maybe learn or kind of get familiar with how to use, truly how to use a camera and capture some of the images, um, and I don't know, the night shots that we take, the capture, how to capture the Milky Way, or how to do a time lapse, or how to you know film good quality video, stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna be putting together a, uh, a, a channel for that. Now this is something that originally, as I was gonna be going more heavy into YouTube earlier on this year, I was gonna start right now. Now I'm probably gonna start posting videos to it shortly, um, but probably later on in the year, as things transition a little bit more, I'll probably be focusing on that photography channel a little bit more. And so if that's you, if you share this passion with me about going to these amazing and beautiful places, and that's something that you'd like to look into, go ahead and I'll link it in the video description. You can follow me over on that channel. And this channel is gonna be specifically for just your average Joe who wants to learn how to photograph video nature, stuff like that. And so um, I think it will be fun to work on and it's just a passion project, it's nothing too serious. This is my main channel, this is where my main focus is, but I just thought it would be fun to put together that. Now before we part ways for the night, I wanna leave you guys with one last thing. Why did I make this video? For a lot of you guys, this probably seems super out of left field. I'm a very small channel. This probably seems crazy to a lot of people and the reality of it is, you know, financially, I feel like I'm not taking a super big risk, especially now. I've sold off parts of the business. I'm gonna uh, slow things down a little bit in that area. And I think I'm gonna be able to balance things just fine. Tonight is essentially a relaunch of the channel and going forward, I plan on posting a video every single Sunday at 5 p.m. We'll see if I'm able to stick to that. If I can't, I'm gonna give myself some grace because over the last couple of months, I've learned a very important lesson. I am going to continue to prioritize my time with my family, my wife and my kids. And you know, I, I can't let my ambitions and my dreams get in the way of what's really most important, which is them. Regardless, I am extremely excited for the adventures ahead and to see where this all takes me. Look, I've always wanted to do something work-related that I'm passionate about. And that's just not the case right now. And so, though it may seem kind of crazy and a little bit premature, maybe it is. Maybe it works out, maybe it doesn't. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. It's just something that I'm gonna try and we'll see what happens. I'm extremely excited to take you guys along for the ride. Here's to 2024, to my adventures, to your adventures. Happy New Year's, everyone. Good night.